Now, President Trump just recently attached his, uh, attacked his former Secretary of State in a bizarre tweet following news that Rex Tillerson had testified to the House Foreign Com uh, Affairs Committee last week. Now, during that testimony, um, uh, and I'll tell you about that, uh, what he said in that testimony, but he was not very nice to President Trump, uh, so Trump had responded with this tweet, quote, Rex Tillerson, a man who was dumb as a rock and totally ill-prepared and ill-equipped to be Secretary of State, made up a story, he got fired, that I was out-prepared by Vladimir Putin at a meeting in Hamburg, Germany. I don't think Putin would agree. Look how the U.S. is doing. Okay. Uh, so, this is fun. Uh, <laughs> he's literally calling his Secretary of State a stupid, dumb person. But wait a minute. I, I thought you said you hire only the best people. The greatest people. I'm going to hire the best and greatest advisors. That way, I don't actually have to read or do anything because my advisors will tell me what to do because they're so smart. But uh, they're also actually dumb as a rock and completely ill-prepared and ill-equipped to be in the jobs that I put them in. Oops. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, are you actually really calling someone else stupid? A again, really. This is the guy who lost over a billion dollars due to his taxes over 10 years by being such a monumentally bad businessman. I mean, who grows broke running a casino? The house always wins. How do you go broke running a casino? This is a guy that's calling other people dumb and ill-prepared and ill-equipped for their job. Come on. Now, as for Trump being ill-prepared, this is great. He literally bragged about not being prepared. I don't need to prepare. Now, for example, this is before one of his meetings with Kim Jong-un, leader of North Korea. He told reporters, quote, I think I'm very well prepared. I don't think I have to prepare very much. This isn't a question of preparation. It's a question of whether or not people want it to happen. And we'll know that very quickly. Wait, I'm, I'm so well prepared already that I don't have to prepare. I don't actually have to read anything. I don't actually have to do anything. I'm, I'm just prepared by nature of being me. That, that makes no sense. No wonder all the talks with the North Koreans blew up. I mean, come on, come on. Not only that, but you also had staffers telling the press in a lot of leaked stories early in his presidency that Trump barely reads his briefings to prepare himself for meetings and trips overseas. One staffer said that he had to condense briefings into a single page with killer maps and graphics, and they would pepper his name throughout that briefing so that he will pay attention because he will be so easily distracted and bored that he will stop paying attention unless he sees his name. And different staffers, or maybe the same staffer, uh, since they're anonymous, right? They had further condensed these meetings before one of his trips. Uh, I think it was an uh, Asia trip. Um, they had to further condense these briefings into tweet link segments because he has no attention span and doesn't actually care to be prepared. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? But there's more. You also had Trump allies admitting that he doesn't really even read briefings or really even study anything. And they had been talking, and this is from uh, the one of the William Barr hearings. It had Lindsey Graham and William Barr talking about how little Trump actually reads. Take a look at this. Dan, Don't you think member. President Trump is a one-pager kind of guy? Excuse me? President Trump is a one-pager kind of guy. He, I, I suspect he is. Okay, just remember that. Go ahead. Yeah. He is a one-pager kind of guy. You know what that means? He will not read past the page. <laughs> I mean, come on. Now, that led to Tillerson, as I said, uh, saying this, quote, We spent a lot of time, this is uh, in relation to the Putin meeting in Hamburg, Germany, quote, We spent a lot of time in the conversation talking about how Putin seized every opportunity to push what he wanted. There was a, discre a discrepancy in preparation, and it created an unequal footing. 
So, I, look, we know what this means. He doesn't read. He doesn't read. He doesn't prepare at all. At all. So, of course, when meeting any other foreign leader, there is going to be an unequal footing. Because Trump is a moron. And he, he doesn't care. And he won't do his job. Now, look, I actually think that this is more proof that MSNBC's Russiagate hysteria, you know, that, oh, yeah, no, he was taking direct orders from Vladimir Putin, is actually not even remotely real. Why? It's because I think Trump is too stupid to engage in a criminal conspiracy with Vladimir Putin, with anybody. He is too stupid. I mean, he will not even follow directions from his own staff, from his own allies. He will not listen to them. What makes you think that he will listen to anybody else? No, Donald Trump doesn't listen to anybody but Donald Trump. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, Vladimir Putin is actually a smart person, at least when it comes uh, to politics, right? Uh, and he knows who Donald Trump is. He knows how to work him, right? So that he can get what he wants when it comes to foreign policy. There doesn't have to be a conspiracy here. Our president is just easily played for a fool because he is a fool. He is a fool. And lastly... I cannot believe the day has come where I will defend Rex Tillerson. Rex Tillerson is a lot of things. But is he dumb? No, he's not a dumb person. Unlike Donald Trump, he ran a business but didn't run it into the ground. He ran Exxon. He's the CEO of Exxon Mobil. Now, then again, it's really hard to run an oil company to the ground. But it's also really hard to run a casino into the ground. So, look. Where, like I said, Tillerson is a terrible person. And you guys know that from previous videos where I've talked about him. But he's not a stupid person. He was not ill-equipped Ill for the job. It was completely different. And I remember reading reports about that where he's like, oh, I actually have to interact with other people. And I, well, I don't like that. I just like being the CEO. I like calling the shots. Whereas this is completely different for me. But oh well, right? No, he's not a dumb person, wasn't ill-equipped. He shouldn't have been in the job in the first place, and I agree with that. But Donald Trump was only going to uh, put someone in that position that was Trump going to, one, defend him, and two, do exactly what he wants. Rex Tillerson was not doing that. And so, of course, he goes against Donald Trump just a little bit, pushes it just a little bit, or doesn't do exactly what the baby wants. He gets kicked out, and that's exactly what happened. But uh, as far as him being dumb, no. He's not dumb. Donald Trump is dumb, and that's what separates them. Now, last thing about Trump's uh, tweet. He also added, look how the U.S. is doing. Well, what does that have to do with anything? That doesn't mean anything. No, if anything, Trump's incompetent leadership is destroying this country. For example, companies who save billions of dollars from his tax cuts are laying off workers. Ford just recently announced 7,000 layoffs. They're cutting uh, you know, mid-level management jobs in a way to cut costs and create more profit. Again, these companies are already profitable. Now they want to be even more profitable. So they are, quote unquote, restructuring, right? Not only that, but the trade, uh, trade war with China is hurting farmers. Uh, and then you also have families who are separated by the Trump administration that will never, ever be reunited, that they can't even find each other anymore. Those are real consequences. You also have wages that are stagnant, health care that is in even worse shape than before. Thanks to, like, again, uh, like I said, due to uh, Trump's interference and attempts to destroy the health care market, uh, which was already bad, now it's even worse. Student loan debt dragging down the economy. We've got to do something about that. Look, for these reasons and many others, the American people are not happy with President Trump. There's a new poll that came out. It shows that 60% of Americans do not want Trump to win re-election. He is not, he's also, you know how that's possible? It's because he's losing his own base. There's even Fox News. He's starting to lose them too. All because he is a moron who never had any intention of helping Americans, but lining his own pockets and satisfying his enormous, unquenchable ego. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the 
YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.